connected. Lens right, ultra wide, now. but to back off. I turn that off. Three, four, five. There's seven screws. All right. So to get the front plate off of your Roland Cube Street EX, you will need to remove seven. There, I believe they're Phillips heads. Yep, correct. Yep. Little Phillips heads. Simple. Very simple. Okay. And you can see when I took the back off. Now you can see the back side of the cube logo thing. Oh, should we us. take the badger tray out? Um, we can, yeah. I, it wouldn't it, hurt nothing, but I don't yeah. think speakers, but we will. I mean, just uh, safety. No, why not? Safety um, first. Yes. That battery tray is coming out. All right, I mean, so. I love the battery tray idea. That's a much better design than the old. Tray. I was looking at getting a secondary battery tray. Because yeah, you can buy them. So you can swap one. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just. All right, well, that's that. All right. Then the speakers have four Phillips in them as well. Okay, so that's one speaker. And the wires are color coded nicely. And here's where they talk about the different sizes. The, let's, let's the red are bigger. I'm going to get a plier to get these off. The red are larger than the black, which is your ground wire. Get them off of here. Come on. Yep, I need little pliers. Hold on one second. Take your time. Mm -hmm. I'll edit this video later so we can. I'll, but also, for those of you who are watching this, after watching this video, in the comment section, in the description, there will be a link to the second part of this video, which is the sound test. You can find that on K Timco's channel. Just check the description for the link to the sound test. Pretty straightforward um, wiring. Just red and black. Jeez, if they'll come off. <laughs> Man, they're on there. Okay, let's see. All but one. You know there's always one. Always one. Now, in your hand, can you feel the difference in the weight between the two speakers? Oh, this speaker is, from, I didn't really handle the other ones yet, but this one is very heavy, fat. There's a pretty big magnet on it for the size of it. Yeah, the problem is, is the Jensen speakers have a bigger magnet uh, because it's weaker. It's a weaker magnet, so they have to make a larger one. Okay, now I'm gonna hand it to you, if you wanna feel that one. All right, so this is the um, the Roland Cube Street EX um, made, in China, made in China speaker. So you're taking out the other one. Yep, yep. So the screws out. So the screws are out of it. What are we gonna do with these speakers in a future video? <laughs> That's a project that you're gonna have to subscribe to find out. Yeah. What are we gonna do with them? Uh, there's many things we could do with these. Now, on the one on the right, the two ground or black speaker wires are actually brown, even though it's still the ground wires. And the brown, it shows the brown being, or the black being brown and the positive being orange. Gotcha. Instead of red, I don't know why I did that. But. I, I guess it's to so that they could differentiate between the left and the right for stereo. That. The magnet's pretty strong. It is a strong magnet, but look at the size of it. Yeah, it grab, uh, grabs the pliers and you can't really get it off. Okay, come on, there we go. Alright, so that's both speakers out. And I'll set it right. Um, it's on the grill in front of you to the right there. So inside this cabinet you can see um, the um, filler padding, or whatever they want to call it, the sound deafening stuff. Mm -hmm. You can see where your speaker uh, stand mount is. And that's about it. Really all it's in there is the tweeters and then must be a very small, you can't really see the brain because it's tucked in behind all the padding. All right, let's see what we're doing. So what are your thoughts on the build quality of the chassis uh, for this? It feels pretty solid. The whole thing is very solid. I'd say, I think it's all plastic. I thought there would be wood in it, but it seems like it's all plastic. Yeah. The whole well, uh, yeah, this on this one they wanted to make it all plastic, so that way you wouldn't have to worry about humidity. Yeah, there's no wood. Because it's this one's made to be in, in all weather. Okay. Here is the 
mod, Jensen mod speaker. Yeah, Jensen mod eight, four ohm. Mm -hmm. If you're gonna do this, this is what you'll need. Now, the problem they're telling you about soldering is because the black wires have a tiny, tiny uh, end on them. You know what I mean? Not, mm -hmm. not, so I'll have to change the black ends. The red ones look like they will go on. They will. So the red ones are good. The reds will go on. The black ones will either have to be changed or soldered directly to the speaker. Well, this isn't bad. Either way, um, you know, it'll work just fine. You could pigtail these two black ones together and run one to the thing. But I actually might have the correct ends here. That's oh. I brought my little toolbox to look. Well, if you do, we'll show. Th where would people find such ends? Um, well, nowadays, probably Amazon is where everybody's going to get them, I'm sure. And they're just, I think they're just a regular, what they might call an RCA stereo end. So go to Amazon and look for an RCA stereo end. You'll need four of them to complete this project, two for each speaker. Let's see. I probably have one. I will, I'll check it to be sure here before we. Oh, there's one. See if it fits it. Yep. And you can see, I'm just going to hold up the camera. It's just a little RCA type of a standard speaker end, I guess. Mm -hmm. They use them many, many, many speakers. Well, they used to use them more often than they do nowadays. Let's see here. There's a one. Let's try to, pull, try to put one in. You'll need some wire strippers. Some wire strippers. Mm -hmm. So you'll need wire strippers, the replacements for the connectors to the amp for those. Any other things that people will need for this project? Mm, a Phillips. A Phillips head screwdriver. Or, or a little screw gun. Or the other mm -hmm. I think that's all. It's not really. Shouldn't be too too bad. It should. And you could save. You could put. You can connect these grounds all together if you if you don't have. You know, if you only want to do two ends. Yeah. Into one, you don't have to have each one. Does not have to have its own. They all ground. Let's see. Let's strip a little wire off here. If you're enjoying this content and would like to hear um, K Timco and I play music together, you can see videos of us on my channel as well as his. So it's Darth Blint or K Timco. And you can listen to us play music. The ultimate goal? The ultimate goal is to play music. So do you think an average person would be capable of doing this it's pretty, modification? It's pretty basic, I think. If you don't get nervous about it and just strip the wires and if you buy the ends, I know though there's some videos out there that talk about soldering. Diff yeah, soldering. But I don't know. Soldering's okay if you're comfortable with it. I did bring my soldering stuff in case this wasn't going to work. But I would rather have push on ends because replacements. Yeah, if these blow out or you anything happen, you get some something punched through them, I mean, you know, and then you'd have to unsolder instead mm -hmm. of just taking it apart, and who knows, you might be on the road where you don't have a... So I guess it know. would be worthwhile to get the replacement ends. I think so. Yeah. I mean, just just for the sake of what if, you know, what if something... Mm -hmm. And when you're performing, there's always a going to be a what if that happens. Okay. And if it don't work, you can always go back and solder. I mean, that's just not that hard to get in here. Mm hmm So I'm crimping the end on to the ground for the first speaker. Okay. Yep. So I'm going to put speaker one back in. This is going to be the uh, Jensen Mod 824 ohm. Or, tw made or 4 ohm. The Jensen Mod 820 uh, 4 ohm. Made in <laughs> Not 24 ohm. <laughs> <laughs> made in Italy. 
Yes, these are Italy. The other ones are Chinese. Can you feel the difference in the weight between oh, the speakers? Big, much lighter. Here, did you hold it? Yeah, hold it. Here, let's see lighter. here. Whoa, yeah, significantly. Here, the we'll magnet is significantly smaller. Put the two side by side. Yeah, let's show them um, the fronts and the back comparison. Okay, let's do a here. comparison. All right, here's so, the backs. There's the back sides. There's the angle side, so you can see the thickness in the mm -hmm. um, magnet and there are the fronts. There is a, there is a, a weight difference. And the Jensen cone looks to have uh, tighter ripples in it. Hmm. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. you see your finger, put your finger inside this speaker, feel the ripples on that. Yeah. And the distance, too. You notice how much distance there is there? Yeah. Now, now try this one. Oh, yeah, definitely tighter. So that would mean vibration wise, it would be uh, different. Yeah. All right, let me hook up. And the only downside I see is they give you very little extra um, wire. Mm -hmm. So that means you got to work tight to the to the box. So you, you may want to buy some extra wire then if you feel like. But it's not bad. It's not. Yeah. It's not undoable. It's not undoable, but if you feel like you may want to, then go for it. Buy some, you know, if you feel like you may need to try a couple of times to get it right. I'm going to show the, show that. That's shows both grounds connected to the ground and the, both positives are connected there. Perfect. Okay, turn it on. I won't put the grill on until we test it. Yeah. Now let me see where the holes are. That's the other question. Do the holes line up the same? Oh, they're close. Luckily, pretty close. All right, let me put a screw in it see. Mm-hmm. They mention this part about the holes aren't exactly, <laughs> they're not quite exactly the same. They're pretty darn close. They're off just a little bit. They're close, are they close Oops. enough though? I think they're close enough. I got two started, but you'll see they're not exactly straight in like that you'd think they would be. Yeah. And also, if you're doing this project at home, don't over tighten. Remember, you're tightening into plastic. So you'll strip if you go too foot, you know, too hard. Really, not the easiest. There it is. Okay, they're going. They're on. Close enough. Close enough to be workable. One more. They're not. They're not exactly the same holes. Okay, there we go. I'll put this one in. I'll wait to put the other one in before we turn it on. Yeah. Okay. And they are in, or it is in. One is in. That's one is good. in. Now let's try this one here. We got the dryer running in here today. I can feel it. <laughs> okay, that's number two. Yeah, definitely are lighter. And if you're busking, the name of the game is less weights, your friend. So, um. And where did you get these speakers? Uh, I got these. You can find these speakers at a few different locations. Reverb.com is the best place. Honestly, just go to Reverb, the search bar, and type in Jensen Mod 8 4 Ohm. That's it. It'll pop up. It comes in at $31 and like 54 cents. The best part about reverb though, is that you can on 99% of the things on there, you can make offers. And as long as you're within 20% of the initial price, I've never had them not accept it. So just think of it as a 20% off of whatever gear you want to buy. I just ordered the whole speaker, the whole, the whole stage, uh, street EX, I mean for, uh, four thirty. The guy I offered four hundred. He took it. So. Four hundred thirty dollars for this. That's with the shipping. Well, it, that is a great deal for this speaker. Reverb honestly can't be beat when it comes to price. Not a sponsor, unless they want to be. <laughs> if they would contact me. Contact me, Reverb. Let's set something up. <laughs>
So now on this side, you got brown and you've got orange. Mm -hmm. And this would be the right side or left side? Uh, this is on, uh, looking at the front, it'd be on the right side. All right, so brown and orange are on the right. And your brown is your ground. Brown is ground. Because it'll have the small, um, when you cut, them, cut the ends off, it has these small RCA ends on it. Mm -hmm. Brown is ground. Now let me crimp this one. And we'll see how these grounds. That other one felt pretty good. I should double check. Yeah, so not only are these lighter, but they go from 15 watt to 20 watts on the same ohms. So should be louder and fuller. Um, strip just a little more wire. I would strip a little extra wire because then it seems like it gets into the uh, end a little farther. Yeah. The, the, uh, the adapter, we might call it the RCA. The RCA. And yep. Yeah. RCA end, yeah. RCA speaker ends on the hunt. On the hunt, I need one more hunt. I know I've got some <laughs> in the body. A man on the hunt. I always make you hunt for It's like it's one in here somewhere. Yeah, I have. If you're not looking for them, you have 15. Yeah. And if you're looking for one. Yeah, I got none. Yeah. <laughs> That's how it works, man. Come on, baby. Reveal yourself. Reveal Come to yourself. us. Come to us. Tell them uh, what you're playing through this. Do I? I said, tell them what you're playing, what you're playing through this game. Ah, yes. Um, well, uh, I personally play the harmonica and the ukulele, but when I'm and stomp boxes, but when I'm playing with Kelly, it's the harmonica. And uh, yeah, like I said, watch our videos, our songs, and everything else. What do you plan on playing through yours? Um, mostly guitar, vocals. Harmonica song, stomp box. Mm hmm. And if you guys want to donate uh, so that I can buy a microphone to connect to my harmonica stand, my cash app is cash sign D A R T H B L E N T. So donate there on cash app. Okay, that one's on. Now the positives. Mm -hmm. I'll also have my cash app in the description underneath the link to the video of the sound test, which will be found on K Temco's channel. Okay. Good. That's on. Good and connected. Now it's just screwing them in. The holes are not exact. Well, they're pretty darn close. This one's actually a little better. The holes aren't exact, but they're close enough. They're close enough. It'll work. Seems like no modifications there. So you're removing weight and increasing wattage. 
Okay, it's all but the grill. Should we test it before we put the grill on? Uh, sure, yeah. Okay. Let's go ahead and... Because it won't hurt it, the grill won't affect, do you think? I mean, this isn't the sound test video, so... Just to see if it This works. is just to see if they're okay. going to work. Uh, put the battery back in it. The batteries in. This is where we either work or we'll get a massive squeal and we'll be like, ah. It's on. <laughs> it's on. I can't it's test on. Unless I plug in. So you want to put the grill on? Uh, sure. Okay. We're gonna put the grill on. This has been how to change out the speakers from the um, Rolling Cube Street EX uh, Chinese 15 watt four ohm speakers to the Jensen Mod 8. Uh, 20 watt for ohm speakers much much lighter. These are very heavy. Yeah incredibly lighter it, I mean you remove weight and Possibly increase sound question mark. I don't know in order to find out You'll need to click on the link in the video and see the sound comparison video See you there. Don't forget to like favorite and subscribe